good morning guys <laughs> i have not vlogged in maybe like a year there's been so many changes to my life i don't even like really know where to start well for starters right now i'm in my car i got a new car i am waiting for it to heat up i'm eating some breakfast i made oatmeal with strawberries that hasn't changed but i'm heating up my car so that i can go to work because i got a new job. I got my real estate license for one and I'm a, the executive assistant of a broker that's in my office. So I'm with Keller Williams and Keller Williams Larchmont which is like a fancy area in LA and I figured that I would just do this little sit down get ready with me. See I don't even know how to talk anymore. I figured I would just do this little life update situation because I really want to get back into YouTube. I want to show you guys my life again. I had a moment where I was just feeling very, very, very burnt out with content creation. I felt like it was non-stop and I just couldn't afford to take a break. So I felt like I needed something more in my life and there was just a point when I was sitting down with my friend watching Selling Sunset of course but we were like you I could easily do this like we could easily do this so literally that night I went and looked up like how to get your real estate license found the school applied and started taking the classes I was like I'm gonna do this I need something else and I hope that's not a smudge on my camera I was like I'm going to do this and I'm going to just add to my portfolio of things. So I've been doing it for like six months now, which is just insane to think about that it's been that long. I've learned so much and I really just want to like, with my channel now, I really want to get back to the lifestyle of taking you guys through days of my life and hopefully with real estate, I'll be able to like take you on this journey of me starting out and tips and tricks on how to pass the class, what I'm wearing, outfits of the day, what's in my bag, like all those fun things that I've just like missed doing. So I'm really hoping to get back to that. <sighs> Content creation has been interesting. I would say that it's definitely slowed down a little bit just because I feel like I don't have as much time. Well, I obviously don't have as much time as I used to. This assisting job, is like a typical nine to five, which I absolutely hate that schedule. It makes me want to cry. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, like I love my job. I'm very grateful for it, but that nine to five life is just not for me. I hope you can't hear that car alarm. They're being mad annoying. Well, I'm gonna assume you can't hear them. So, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, content creation. I still get brand deals. I get just a lot of gifted stuff because they don't require you to post. So a lot of them is just like stories or like unboxings that I can do. So it's a little less like intense. I still do get like paid stuff, but it just requires a lot of planning. Oh my gosh, why is everything happening? Okay, I'm gonna drive to work and then film the rest of this over there because there's way too much going on over here. Oh, we made it. Let me put this light on. I got this new light and it makes such a big difference. Mm, I don't know if it made that much of a difference. Anyways, so I was saying like content creation, it's slowed down a lot. I want to ramp back up for it. I miss it. I realize doing this nine to five that's the whole reason I stopped doing 9 to 5 and to do content creation is because I just love it that much. I was just so burnt out from working. It was like I was getting big deals and I could afford my like day-to-day -day lifestyle like my rent, food, like those types of things. But when it came to like extra spending like wanting to get a new car, I couldn't afford the instability that I had to like do my monthly car payments on top of rent and all those other things or if I wanted to fly home for Christmas or do a vacation I didn't have that in my budget like saved up so I was like let me just bite the bullet it's such an unfortunate situation when you're like an entrepreneur or freelance and you have to go back to like a nine to five it almost feels like a failure but in the sense it's like I had to let go of my ego and just be like this is gonna help you move forward with both life and content. So I'm like, okay, let me just bite the bullet, let me do it. It's been interesting. I've definitely met a lot of people and 
I'm glad that it's in real estate, so it's still not like the typical office job. I still get to do open houses. I still get to do showings, go to inspections. That's what a lot of what I'm doing today is. I'm going to a property for inspections. We have like our whole office meeting today. We're doing photography at a lease that we have. So it's like a lot of out and about stuff today. But yesterday I was like sitting in the office all day bored out of my brain. So it's like a good mix. I definitely this year for my New Year's resolutions, I want to be more organized and create systems for myself. I've already started doing that. It's um, January 11th now. I've already made like systems. It's just implementing them and sticking to them so that I can do both content consistently and build my database for real estate and stuff and you know, all those good things. So it's hard, but I definitely think it'll be worth it. Sorry, I'm trying to like look at my notes while I do this. They're on my phone. There's my little, my little, um, car set up right now and my last thing I even just like the five six minutes that I've been filming this I really want to get back into it because I didn't realize it was like a conversation with myself you know it was like it's a digital diary I get sometimes a little stressed out because of my social anxiety with people watching me film in public so I know that's gonna be tough for me I've definitely gotten better at like handling that but even right now like somebody's in their car in front of me and I keep looking at them another car is about to turn around and drive past and it's like I get a little stressed out about that but I have to remember that I'm never gonna see these people again this video is gonna have more benefits to me than not doing it so I'm really trying to stick to that like goal and resolution so yeah I'm it feels like I'm talking to an old friend and I'm so excited to get to be posting again and hopefully stay in a consistent schedule if there's any type of content you guys want to see more lifestyle more like outfits more real estate stuff i am always open to recommendations so please let me know in the comments and i will hopefully see you guys sooner rather than later Ugh, okay how do i stop this